What's going on? My name is Brennan Myers, and in this video we're gonna talk about how you can gain 20 pounds of muscle in one month. So recently I've been getting a lot of questions asking, Brennan, how did you go from this to that? And I know I made a little baby video about this, but I really wanna dive into the nutrition and kind of what you need to be eating and how you need to be training and all that to be able to build sustainably 20 pounds of muscle per month. When you talk about really nutrition, you need, like to be honest, some supplements. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You guys know supplements are important, right? But to be for real, you need to be consuming a lot of food, a lot of food, I'm telling you. First off, we're gonna start off with some white bread and ribs. All right, that, that, that piece tastes like shit. Next, we need some Nutella, right? So Nutella is gonna be extremely important. Over the last, I would say, five months, every single day, I would get a glob of Nutella and I would just eat it like that, right? And so this is very important because the amount of calories, so serving I had two tablespoons, then the calories is 200 calories. Another thing I used to do is just grab some Nutella and put it on top. Remember, macronutrients are extremely important, so your fat content is gonna be big time with this and, and, and carbs, and you really just wanna, you know, you wanna eat it correctly, right? Oh shit, it's coming out of my mouth, okay. Maybe, maybe it's not this crazy, but when you talk about your skin, right? So when you look at your skin, it's all about, okay, how much can you absorb? Because people talk about sunscreen, you know, there's research now. Um, research shows that sunscreen is really affecting the internal organs now of the human body. And because our body is being absorbed everything, right? So, one thing you should be doing now to really gain this lean muscle is take chocolate that has a lot of calories and slap it on your body. Now, the cool thing about this is that it's gonna absorb straight into your organs. It's a muscle building process, so you have to be very, very focused on this, because if you don't, well then, you're gonna keep on giving into the bullshit. And when it comes down to actual bullshit, I'm gonna be real, that was a whole joke. You know, the real point and truth behind building lean muscle and doing all this stuff, you cannot pack on 20 pounds of muscle in one month. It is not possible, it's not true. You need to stop giving into the bullshit all over the fitness industry because it really is starting to cause a lot of problems and health effects in people around you and even yourself. Listen, realistically, and I know I have Nutella all over my hands, and I know this is a whole joke a whole troll to all of this. I'm not gonna call out anybody, because that's not what I do. But I am gonna give you some information. First of all, you wanna be focusing on gaining two pounds of muscle in a month. And really, if you are like been training for so long, and it's not gonna be as realistic as you may believe. Now, if you're more of a beginner, that will happen. But with this lean muscle, you also have to focus on your fat. It's gonna be one to two pounds of fat a week. Okay, that's what's actual realistic. That's what you can actually do. And you need to be focusing on proper nutrition. That's eight pounds of fat a month. Now, if you're 300 pounds, yes, it's gonna be a lot easier for you, okay? Then you're gonna be able to lose that eight pounds or maybe even more per month. Now, if you're somebody that is maybe 190 pounds and lean, you're gonna be about 175, well, then it's gonna be a little bit different. I focus on anywhere when I'm trying to lose some fat, 0.3, to about 0.7 pounds of fat per week. That's what I focus on. Next, you need to be focusing on your hypertrophy workouts. Hypertrophy is extremely important when it comes to building muscle, right? So, we can talk about weights. You know, everyone knows about weights. We all know that it's great for building muscle, of course, bodybuilding, all of that. But you need to be focusing on compound movements, multi-joint movements. If you're not doing this, you're gonna run into a lot of problems and, and really find that, that you're struggling with just building muscle because your rep range is off a little bit, you're not really exerting the amount of energy that you need per movement, and things just gonna be thrown off. Also, it's gonna be great if you add in body weight movements. And I know it might be unique to you or a little bit different, but if you don't have a gym, you can also build lean muscle with just body weight movements itself. You know, it all depends on the resistance of your training and the volume of your training. Hypertrophy, right, is six to 13 repetitions for body weight training, and then higher volume, so three to six sets, rest periods anywhere from 45 seconds to a minute and a half. Now, getting away from all the training, you also have to be focusing on the healthy micronutrients. When you talk about Nutella, this is not going to be something that you wanna be consuming every single day. Yes, the supplements I threw on there, supplementation is important, right? You're lacking it's with specific micronutrients and specific things in your diet, well then supplementation is gonna be important for you and your nutrition. But healthy micronutrients, let's just dive into a few, right? So we have vitamin C, very important for recovery like broccoli, Brussels sprouts. You also have cabbage, right? Another micronutrient that you need to be focusing on is vitamin D. 
Obviously, you can get it from the sun. You go out about 20 minutes per day, a little bit more. That's gonna be 75% of your vitamin D intake, approximately. You can also get this from different types of fish, so shrimp. You also have mushrooms, incredible vegetables. Keep on consuming those vegetables. You wanna recover. Then also, vitamin A, extremely important. So you talk about carrots, spinach, sweet potatoes, Consume a lot of micronutrients and then also vitamin B12 is going to be very important for your recovery and really being able to build this muscle. Things like tuna, maybe even crab, okay? Just a few different examples. Now, with all of this, you have your training, you're, you're, you're building muscle, right? Because you have the hypertrophy workouts and then you're also eating the right types of foods to recover correctly. You're getting your macronutrients in. Macros, of course, I'm not gonna get into it in this video, but it's extremely important. It's all about your calories, right? Those calories are gonna be really big for you. I like to stay a little bit over my maintenance weight for calorie intake. So about 200, 300, even 400 calories more than where I'm at to build lean muscle, but with those micros in my diet and just eating clean foods, okay? And then also focus on some cardio, right? If you strengthen your cardiovascular system, then of course your body is going to not work as hard during your recovery because your heartbeat is lower, blood flowing through. You don't want to always have a high heart rate because that just makes your body work even harder. And digestion has plays a huge point in all of this. If you're eating shitty foods, that is going to affect the way your body is working, how hard it's working. More red meat and like if you're eating steaks every single day, all day, you know how long that takes to digest? It's gonna be working and working and working and working and working, okay? And then, of course, with this cardiovascular training, I would focus more on low impact exercises. So things like swimming, you got biking, the versa climber, you got rowing, you have walking, all of these different things can really benefit your cardio and also your muscle building, lean muscle building process because you're training that cardiovascular system and all the joints and everything that are hurting from your training that are trying to repair, well guess what? They finally get to repair themselves and now those cross bridges just keep on building. And you get stronger, you get bigger, and now you're happy with yourself. You can't gain 20 pounds of muscle in one month. Do not listen to the hype. Whether someone told you you can gain 10 pounds of muscle, even eight pounds of muscle, you cannot gain that much of muscle per month. Be realistic, focus on these things. Micronutrients, the cardiovascular system, also the hypertrophy training, add in some bodyweight training to it, be explosive, be powerful, compound movements, and do not focus on Nutella and white bread and all this crap that people feed you with, I'm not even gonna get into it, but, that's the video, if you enjoyed. I know it's completely different, and I know that I haven't done this in a really, really long time, like it's just a video that was just kind of fun and energetic and stuff, but I've been missing this stuff. You know, I've been doing this for so long, and I haven't been able to hop on here on YouTube and just be me and completely just go all out. And I've changed, I've transformed over the past couple of years, and it's time for me to get back to the Brendan Myers, but the evolved Brendan Myers. And that's what I'm doing now with this series. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be coming back every single week with something fun, extravagant, and something you have not seen. I promise you on that. I'm gonna go wash my hands. I ate all that Nutella. I'm probably gonna crap my pants later. But thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below if you enjoyed this video. Give this a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Peace. First off, you need to start off with a bunch of supplements. Now, you have to make sure that they're proper, you know, like this one doesn't look like a rusty. So we have to make